I just got a world record score in guild quests, and let me explain how. 5 out of 5 Yamamoto. <laughs> <laughs> that simple. But wait, there's technically more to it. So firstly, let's outline the team. Thousand Year Blood War Yamamoto at max transcendence. With special move level 5, bonus abilities giving him double weak in defense, a good set of accessories, and also most importantly, full stamina damage soul traits, that will allow Yama to do a lot of damage when it comes to using his soul bomb. To go alongside Yama, we have Spirit's RFL with Uretsu. She is also max transcendent, and alongside that, we made sure to give her as much SP as possible, and also once more full stamina damage soul traits. And in the final piece to this team, we have Machine Society Yoroichi. Not only did I want to use her because I'm a Yoroichi fan, but she's the most important part, as she is providing our team with a boost, but that boost that she does have is a 960 AoE in front of her. That's allowing her to basically use a strong attack right from the get-go, and will allow us to sink this soul bomb a lot easier now going into the run you might be wondering what is the world record score in the guild quest game mode and it's a zero second run but how exactly does someone get zero seconds surely it takes less than a second to press your soul bomb so how exactly can you beat a quest in basically no seconds at all and the answer is kind of simple. Essentially, what you want to do is the second the quest starts is that you want to use your soul bomb. You don't want to flash step because that'll be wasting time. You want to use your soul bomb and hopefully you can get a good spawn on the enemies. The enemies in this particular guild quest, they spawn randomly in different set positions. And you're kind of hoping here that all five waves are going to spawn in a radius of your soul bomb. If they do, there's a good chance you're going to nuke through all five waves, especially when you have two good sides that are also doing damage at the same time. But even if you do this correctly, you might still notice that you're not actually getting a zero second run. Well, this is why you got to do some of the strategies. Now, in this case, we are using Steam. And essentially, anytime we actually beat a particular quest or nuke through all five waves, what you're going to see me do is hold the X button. By doing this, it's going to kind of pause the game and essentially it saves your time. Usually when you do beat a quest, especially if you're beating it this fast, if you don't press the X button, it's not going to give you the exact time you actually got. So by holding down the X button the second we do beat the quest, and then moving our mouse away so we can continue with the game, it will basically unfreeze the app, and at that point we'd get a very high score. And in this particular run, we got a 0.18 second clear time. Seems fast, but I wasn't happy. Come on! <laughs> Ah, you dirty! Ooh. No way, man! How? <laughs> because our main goal is to get a zero second run. So what exactly do we have to do differently now that we know all these different things? Well, previously when trying to go for this strategy, I was spamming the R key on my keyboard, which is the button I used to use my soul bomb. Maybe I wasn't spamming it fast enough, but every time I did try and nuke through all five waves by pressing the R key, I would notice that again, we're getting the exact same score, a 0.18 second clear time. So what exactly did we have to do differently here? But we noticed that instead of actually pressing the R key, it's actually significantly faster for me just to press the soul bomb button with my mouse the second the quest does start. And while doing this, I noticed that I was actually nuking really quick to the point that I could see on the timer, zero seconds. So we knew this is the way you want to do it. And it's kind of awkward because I need to remember where the actual spawn point is. So to make it easier for myself, I put an arrow key. <laughs> kind of just to help me know exactly where to press. Because you have to press it really quick. And with enough attempts later, I press the soul bomb at zero seconds. Yama nukes through all five ways. And then we quickly press the X button to kind of pause the time itself. And in doing so... We did it. We got a zero second clay time. The official world record in Guild Quest that I basically share with 700 people. It's not like I'm the only one that's done this. <laughs> people have been doing this for a while now. But I am officially part of the Gentleman's Club. And it just looks really nice just to see that on your screen. 89000. It's a beautiful score. And I'm not going to lie. It felt really good when I finally got it. Hold on. I might have done it. I don't think I did it early enough. I don't think I did it quick enough. Ah, uh, my fumbled. Ah. Uh, hey, hey, yo. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Fun's part of the club. Yes, yeah, sir. Nice screenshot that. Yes, yeah, sir. So yeah, that's basically the video. Just a short one for today. I guess this is more so like just a little guide on how to do it. Again, very simple. All you gotta do is just have a good enough team to do it. Mainly with Yamamoto on a certain particular week. You want to sob them without moving. Hope you get lucky with the spawns. 
and make sure to press the X button the second the quest is completed to kind of save your time. You apparently can still get a zero second one by pressing it on the keyboard, but for me, I was more consistent by just using my mouse to press the sob on button instead. And yes, you can also do it on your phone too. Mainly if you've got an iPhone, you can just swipe up the second you use your sob on the nuke through the stage. It also does the same thing. It essentially pauses the game and somewhat saves your time. But for me, I don't have an iPhone and PC is a lot more consistent for me, so I just chose to do it there. But yeah, I guess that's the video. Hope you liked and enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.